<laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? Um, we're in London. We're trying to do a bit of landscape photography in London, but uh, I don't know what, can you even do landscape photography in London? You can't, can you? So we're at the minute, we're in Brick Lane, which is a, I'm walking into things. Uh, we're in Brick Lane, London. Uh, just, we've got about three hours before sunset. So we've come here to do a bit of landscape, seascape, cityscape. Cityscape photography, that's what I'm looking for. So yeah, um, we've got about three hours before we need to be there. And we're walking towards Tower Bridge. I've got Andy and Dave with me as well today. And they're showing me, they're, they're quite, they're quite they're my local guides for, for London. They, they know their way around here. I wouldn't have a flipping clue. Else. So, uh, so we're gonna head down. I've got a couple of hours now to just find a, a good place for, for the sunset. Hopefully get really, really nice sky as well. The sun is, it's really, really bright sky today. So. Hopefully we'll get a nice, nice sky when the sun does go down as well. So wander down to Tower Bridge now and we'll see you in a minute. Made it to Tower Bridge. So the sun is obviously setting in that direction. City Hall, Shard and everything's over there. Walkie Talkie Tower, Gherkin. If you've not been to London, you've got to make it down here. It's absolutely fantastic, I love it. So we're going to be walking in the other direction to get the sun setting over there. The guys just wandered on ahead. Um, oh, so absolutely, I think it's going to be a really, really gorgeous evening tonight. It's quite hazy. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but it's really, really gorgeous. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Oh, well, again, you only just told me. Permanency. <laughs> Permanency. Oh, my short term memory. <laughs> uh, where the crazies used to hang, apparently. It's pretty cool. Um, this isn't going to be History Channel, I can promise you that. <laughs> so, we've just, um, we've just rocked up on the side of the, the Thames there. We've got the facing. Oh, there's loads of people here now. Oh, no. Um, facing west where the sun's going to be setting. And it looks amazing, but the uh, St Paul's is kind of ruining the composition a little bit because it's sort of sticking up into the middle of the bridge. So, we're going to come further back down. Um, absolutely amazing, look at this. It's just stunning. You probably can't, it's probably too bright, I'll show you in a sec. Uh, it's just unbelievable. So we're gonna, we're gonna get set up a bit further back, it's giving us a better view, I think, isn't it? Yeah. That's a lot better, that is. Yeah, so we can, St Paul's isn't in the shot anymore, but at least we've got a nice clear skyline. Fantastic unbelievable. Sunset. Yeah, the, sc the sky is gonna be amazing. The sky is gonna be amazing. I think we'll get nice, nice colors, some lovely high cloud, nice detail, should be really, really good. Let's get set up. This is going to be an absolute belter of an evening. The sun is piercing through the low clouds over the bottom there, and it's a bit, bit bright to uh, to get the shot. I think we're the best shot. I think the best shot's going to be when the sun goes down. The uh, the, the clouds are definitely looking like they're going to light up amazing. It's really, really awesome. So uh, I'm really, really chuffed with this. The amount of times I've come to London and hope to one day I'll be able to get a sunset photograph here so it's really 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 re turning out really awesome this is i'm looking looking forward to seeing these images so um, initially we've just got the cameras all set up i think we're better off waiting as i say till the sun goes down then we'll get the better images so um probably going to look at trying to get like a long exposure get the uh, the water nice and smooth and stuff like that the sun will probably go down low enough in about 20 minutes behind them buildings so we might be all right because at the minute it's starting to drop behind the buildings now 
Uh, there we are. Um, oh, we've moved the cameras up and down here quite a bit to get we've got the BT Tower just there underneath the um, Tower Bridge, and it's just in the wrong place, unfortunately. But it's better than having St Paul's, which initially was bang underneath the bridge there, so uh, a lot better. But yeah, you've got the Shard on the left. You can just see City Hall. Uh, obviously, got Tower Bridge. The Gherkin over there on the right, Walkie Talkie Tower, St Paul's Cathedral. It's all there. Fantastic. Well, the sun's gone down just enough now, so we've, uh, we're able to get a bit of detail in the buildings. So it's just dipped behind the walkie-talkie tower over there. So I've got the uh, six-stop format high-tech filter on there and um, a ND.4 grad just to darken down the, uh, the sky, just to balance the exposure a little bit. And it's actually given me an F11. Um, it's given me 20-second exposure, so that's just going to get us nice and smooth water. The only problem is that these boats in the foreground that are bobbing around a little bit, so it's not ideal to have such a long exposure really, but yeah, just smooth, smooth the water out a little bit. I might go for a panoramic in the middle as, a minute as well. Um, yeah, see how that comes out. This is turning out to be a belter of an evening. We're being treated to some lovely colour. The sun has set, it's about 9.02 now. Um, I've got the Fujifilm X-H1 with a 16 to 55 lens, Nissi ND8 filter and polarizer. Um, just at about F F8 I'm at now, uh, ISO 200, just two second uh, timer, and then just a two second shutter, just to get rid of all the ripples in the water. Hopefully that'll be enough. Um, and then you're just panning around. I've got, um, on the top of my Siri tripod, I've got, um, a, a tripod leveler which is a handy little gadget I've just picked up just means that obviously I'm using an owl bracket to get the camera portrait to do the uh, to do the panoramic but just to keep make sure that the, the top of the tr the top of the camera stays perfectly level I've got this leveling uh, gadget on the top which, which is working really really well it's a bit heavy but it's, it's working right, work really well so hopefully this will come out a lovely shot uh, yeah boats keep moving past though they're kind of blurring in the picture so we do have to time it well but it's really nice I'll get eaten alive by these bugs this is nasty but yeah, hopefully this will come out well and be worth it. Straight back to the pub. <laughs> Oh, back on Tower Bridge again. I love it up here, it's brilliant awesome in here. Uh, David's just had to head back home now, so it's just me and Andrew now. And we're, we're hopefully gonna get a nice sort of long exposure shot on the bridge with the sort of traffic going past. So we're, look, we're wandering along the bridge now, just basically look for a composition where we'll have the towers in the background and uh, hopefully then somewhere we'll stick the tripods and be able to get like a, I don't know, probably about a five second exposure and just allow the traffic to go past. Uh, but I'm absolutely knackered and worn out now. Just need another beer. I've, another beer and I'll be ready to go again. But uh, for the minute, I'm absolutely wiped. So, yeah, concentrate on getting this shot. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll hit the pub then. <laughs> That's all I could think of.
We were in the middle of the road, waiting for, a, waiting for a, bus, a big red bus to come past. It's a bit lethal, to be honest with you. I've got the camera quite low down with the uh, XF 10-24 lens on, and I'm waiting for a red bus to come that way, and a red bus to come that way, and then I'm literally, I'll show you, it's a bit awkward. I'm on a sort of, what do you call it, reservation sort of thing, so I am safe enough, but it does feel a bit odd. <laughs> So yeah, just waiting for a bus to come through. I've got the camera on ISO uh, 200, uh, five second exposure, just making sure I get the motion and the lights as it goes past. I think that's probably too long, really, to, to, to be able to tell that it is a red bus, but you'll get the, you'll get the color, hopefully, going past uh, off the lights anyway, so it'd be quite nice. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll take a photo of the bus going that way, take a photo of the bus going that way, and merge the two together, and hopefully that should come out quite cool, I hope. I hope it's worth it, <laughs> so I feel like a right lemon standing here. Wow, I've jumped ship on that idea. We sat in the middle of the road, stood, that's it. Stood in the middle of the road for about 10 minutes. As soon as we got there, we seen two or three buses go past, but when we got set up, one went past one way and there was nothing going the other way so double exposure is out the uh, idea is out the window there unfortunately maybe i'll be able to merge the previous photographs together i don't know yeah, well i'll try anyway well we're gonna either hit the pub or hit the train or hit home i know i know i know a red bus is going to come past me now and the back guy's really going to annoy me um yeah thanks so much for watching sorry it's been a bit difficult to video because it's been a bit hectic and uh, a bit chaotic and stuff but no pre really appreciate you watching anyway hit the uh, like button if you, uh, if you enjoyed it and drop a comment it'd be great to hear from you thanks so much see you again